hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jayla Mitchell also known as natural rain today I'm gonna let y'all all up in my business which I never do but we need to have a talk it's about to get real freaking personal but first my hair is in this low puff it's really time for me to wash my hair I've been procrastinating love the low puff love this for me if y'all want to see a tutorial on that I already filmed it so I have it linked up there for you guys but now it's time to set my puff free let my people go that's right Mmm, mmm, yes sir. So I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo my hair and come back when my hair has been shampooed and we're gonna get into today's topic, which is why I ain't got no man. Okay, see you soon. All right, I'm back y'all. I just finished shampooing and let me just say, all of y'all who thought that I had a secret hidden man, joke's on me. He ain't here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get into why I'm still single. Ooh, freshly conditioned soft curls. Never can really get enough. Mm. First off, just to preface some stuff. Now remember, we're talking about why I'm single. So to preface some stuff, I'm 23 years old. I went to college, but I didn't finish because I really didn't like it there, to be honest with you. And I didn't think it was gonna help me reach my future goals, so I stopped doing that over a year ago, it's been a while now. If you didn't know that, you a little late. If you still asking me where I went to school, you a little late. And let me tell you, I don't know if it's always been like this cause I'm only 23, but the caliber of men is just bull caca. It's trash, 10 out of 10, would not recommend. And my fatal flaw is that I'm attracted to men. That's my fatal flaw right there. That's the one, like that's the most toxic thing about me is I'm attracted to men and they can't get their act together. Obviously, I'm not talking about no one specifically because I mean, I've been single for a while or whatever. Honestly, I should probably tell y'all about that story. Y'all probably like, when was the last time you was in a relationship? Listen, you would have never heard of it because by the time I was on YouTube, I was single. Well, I mean, been in like a relationship relationship. I guess you could almost say I've never been in one because the last one I was in was in high school and I really don't feel like that counts because you know, you're a kid, you're a kid at that point. Just to let y'all know, I'm gonna be mixing the Miracle Repair Deep Hydrating Hair Mask by TGIN. I'm gonna have the products linked in the description box. And then I'm also gonna be using the Manuka Honey and Mephira Earl Intensive hydration hair mask and if that isn't a mouthful i don't know what it is but this is by shea moisture like i said it's going to be linked down in the description box so i've been single pretty much my whole life and i really think one of the main reasons is because i refuse to settle for subpar like nothing about me in my life is subpar and the reason is because i'm a go-getter i go and i get things however i feel like when it comes to men i'm the prize so they should come get me I know that's an old school way of thinking of it, but that's just how I feel. Like, what am I doing? I'm not chasing no man. I got other things to do that are gonna better my life. And if he knew any better, he would add me to his life if he can. Like he should at least try, I don't know. The thing is I've been single not because I haven't had people how do I explain this? Many men have tried and they just have all failed because I think there's a big thing with immaturity. So I might be the same age as a guy who wants to talk to me, but mentally he's just not there. Now they say that men mature slower than women, but I think the thing with that is I'm just not interested in what they're bringing to the table. A lot of times it just doesn't move me. Like if you ever start a conversation off with, I make so much money, that's a turn off. That is a turn off because you say you don't want to go digger. However, the leading sentence is, I make so much money. So you want me to want you for your money, correct? Because you just make so much of it. Well, if that's the case, buy me a drink. Now I can buy my own drinks, but I want you to buy it for me, Mr. Moneymaker. Like, ugh, I just don't, it's a turn off, okay? And I'm not gonna be with you and you're not gonna get my number, but you can't buy me and my homegirls a drink. I'm not impressed. Like, I think that's the biggest thing. I'm like, how do people find the person they're meant to be with? at this age like y'all are really finding the love of y'all lives did y'all like google search them what was the specific prayer that you prayed because i would like to be in a relationship but only if it's real and i won't force anything like i'm not gonna try to make you the one because i'm ready to settle down no it's either you are the one or you aren't the one 
and I'm gonna act accordingly. That's really how I feel about that whole situation. I know this is gonna sound really bad, but some people genuinely don't like themselves. So they hate the idea of being alone, of being trapped with themselves forever. Me on the other hand, I would like to find someone, but I don't believe in the whole, someone is gonna complete me crap. I don't believe that. I believe that people are created whole. And when you add another person, one plus one makes two. It's not a half and a half make a whole. I was born whole. However, someone can add it to me, but I'm a whole person. Basically with guys, I think the biggest thing is the immaturity thing and I'm a go-getter. So if you're not a go-getter, I'm automatically Xing you off my list. If you're a guy and you're not a go-getter, I'm Xing you off the freaking list because what are you going to do for me? I want someone who pushes me to be a better person and to go after everything I want in life. And if you have, or if they already have everything they want in life, then how are you gonna push me? I need someone who's ambitious. That's attractive to me. Like you wanna do big things. I wanna do big things. Let's push each other to be better. Like, what is the point? If you can't push me to be a better person in general, not just, you know, monetary goals and things as simple as that, but if you can't push me to be a better overall human being, while of course hitting on the monetary goals and all that other jazz, then why are you here? because I've been pushing myself by myself. I don't really need you for that. So another reason why I think I'm single or basically that I just haven't found the one is I'm a strong woman with a strong mindset. And you know, in theory, men say they want strong women. They say that, but in practice, everyone says they want a strong woman until they meet one. A lot of men, they want a woman that is kind of strong but not that strong like just strong enough so that he feels like he accomplished something by getting you to bend in his favor but not strong to the point where he cannot get you to bend in his favor if that makes sense like i literally talked to a guy and i think he really liked the idea of me being a strong woman and when i say the idea i really do mean the idea until it came to little things that i would do that annoyed him but he knew these things about me one big thing about me is i'm not gonna hide who i am to make anyone feel better like i'm not gonna hide it when you met me this is how i am and you can't expect me to switch up i didn't switch up i am who i am right so one of the little things that irked me that he said i was drinking wine from the bottle i sure was but it's not like i was outside in public you know i was at my friend's house so i'm drinking wine from the bottle i'm on facetime with him and he talking about some that's not ladylike who who i hung up with him on the spot because who who told you that who made you bold enough to even open your mouth to say that? I was just in awe. At that point, I had to look at myself and say, what did I do to make him think that he was gonna say that and we was gonna continue the conversation? I'm like, this man is bold. This man is trying me up. He's trying to see if I will knock and I am bugged. Like, I'm just, oh, I was so confused about that. Like, what in your right mind made you think you know, she gonna go out there and get a, a wine glass for me cause she don't wanna seem like she's unladylike. Boy, I am not drinking this to look ladylike. I'm drinking this cause I'm turning up and having a good time with my friend. If you can't see that, then you not for me. You ain't the one. But it was just the audacity, men and their audacity. That's another thing that really gets me. They're so used to women as a whole just conforming because they want to be with them that when you tell them no, oh my gosh, it's like they've never been told no before. Like I'm the first and the last to ever tell them no. Or I can't speak for all men, but just a lot of the men that I've talked to they really like the fact that I'm independent. That's one of the things they love the most about me. And it's also the reason why we end up not talking anymore because they just can't handle that. They thought there would be a certain point where I'd be like, well, okay, now I'm gonna do everything you wanna do. And don't get this confused with like, oh, Jalen, you don't compromise. I can compromise. But what I can't do is have someone telling me stuff like that. Hey, that's not ladylike. Boy, move around so I can see the person behind you because you ain't it. You, God didn't send you for me. That's for sure. That's one thing I know for certain. I also think that for a lot of men, it's a mind game. 
Like they're not actually interested in you. They're just interested in the conquest. They like the idea of you, but not you in actual practice. You see a lot of men, and I'm not talking about all of them, they seek to control and they seek to find your weaknesses and extort them because they're not really there for you anyway. They're there for themselves. Like whatever you can do for them, that's what they're interested in. But they're not interested in making you better or anything like that. So they're just trying to control you. Like she ain't never gonna leave me because I'm the best thing that ever happened to her. Er, er. No worst nightmare is you figuring out you got some freaking self-worth. Like they don't even know how to handle that bad boy. Like what? She love herself. She not gonna let me walk all over her. She knows that if not me, then literally anybody else. Ooh, I've had people who were intimidated by me just knowing that if not them, then anybody else. And I wasn't telling them like, hey, if you don't get it together, I'm gonna go be with somebody else. Like, no, it was just a, listen, I know my worth, I know my value and I was fine before you, I'll be fine after you, I'll be fine with the next guy or whoever, or I'll be fine by myself. And this really comes from self love. But at the end of the day, I got me and I know that I bring quality to the table. I don't give a crap what you gotta say. If you say like, girl, you the worst thing that ever happened. Okay, well, I'm not for you. Next, <laughs> I'm gonna be right for somebody or I won't be right with somebody, but I'm right for me. Like that's the, the biggest thing. So a lot of times with guys, they'll just try to, to play that game with you. I wanna keep her small because if she figures out her true worth, she's gonna know that she's too good for me. She's gonna expect and demand better and I'm not ready to do that for whatever reasons because I still wanna be a dog, because I still wanna blah, 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 blah. For whatever reasons, they are not ready to do that. That is a selfish mentality. And if a guy is treating you like that, then he is just not the one for you at all. So, I mean, I guess the real reason that I'm single is because, I mean, everything happens in God's timing, not my timing, but the guys that I have, you know, interacted with, I don't know, they just haven't done anything for me and I'm not gonna make someone into the person I want them to be. Like, if you don't wanna get it together, then you don't wanna get it together and I'm not gonna try to force you to do that because can't nobody force a man to do nothing. He either wanna do it or he don't. He could not wanna do it for you and wanna do it for the next girl because he likes her that much. But just know that you're worth effort and stuff like that. That's the biggest thing. So people are like, oh, how do you feel that you're, you know, you're still single and it's been all this time. I feel just fine. The other thing that I think is going on is these men in my age group, who raised them? Who? Because I can ask for a really simple thing and they're just so used to being catered to and spoiled. It's like, I'm the man in their relationship and they're the woman. And I've never experienced anything like this in my life before. I'm like, are you kidding me? They want you to bend over backwards. It's a game of what you're willing to do for them. Whoa, buddy, old pal, did you forget who's the prize over here? Like, I just be super confused. And then they think, oh, you know, if I keep saying it, she's gonna have no choice but to do whatever it is that I want her to do, whether it's small, whether it's big, whatever. Like if I keep saying, girl, I want you to cook for me, what have you done that's worth me cooking for you? Don't try to domesticate me, boy. Don't do it. If I wanna cook for you, I will. But what have you done worth me being like, wow, I got a good man on my hands. If I cook for you, that should be out of the kindness of my heart. Not because you snapped your fingers and said, you know what I want? I want her to cook me a meal. We all want things. It don't mean we gonna get them. Like what the heck? What type of stuff? That's something that'll really piss me off. And they're like, no, I just want to see, you know, that's them trying to testify care or not. Boy, if you don't get out of my face, talking about something, you gonna cook for me? No, I don't know. Maybe I'm single because I got a lot of uh, turn offs, but I think the thing is I'm just, I know what I'm worth and I really just don't want to settle. Like I'm still young and even when I get older, you know, if I'm not in a relationship, I just feel like if nobody is matching my energy, if nobody is ready, you know, to get with the program, then they have to get lost. At this point, I've been single for this long because I know there's something better and I'm not settling. Like, what the heck would I look like settling? For someone who only half treats me right. Half treated me right ain't treated me right at all. I know for a fact that I just be leaving men confused. Like, what is going on? Cause they're so used to getting their way. That's another thing. I think in today's time, women either don't care about themselves or, or don't love themselves to the magnitude that they should. 
and men are used to that. So when someone comes along and they say, nah, that ain't gonna work for me. Well, they're used to women saying it ain't gonna work for me, but when I keep pushing you on the issue, you're gonna do what it is that I want because you don't wanna lose me. They are not used to women telling them like, nah, you could go, there's a door. This is so sad, but I think that attracts men, if that makes sense. Like after they be trying to play games with me and I tell them they can leave, they be like, oh crap, like she was serious. She said I could leave, but then she actually pointed to the door and wanted me to go. She was serious, that's attractive. She knows her worth, blah, 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 blah. But at that point, what does it matter anyway? Because if you gotta get to that point for a man to see that you're worth something and that you're serious, I don't want you anyway. I want the man that looks at me and he says like, nah, nah, that's it. <laughs> that's it right there. Like, he don't have to be told twice, three times, whatever. I want the man who sees it from the get go like, oh. I want to be with her. I got to be with her because she she different and not just because I'm cute or whatever, but because he like what I'm working with, you know, that's what I'm looking for. Not the guy that is like, oh, dang, she really ain't gonna let me do that. So, you know, I guess I might get with the program or I guess I might have a couple side pieces and keep her as the main. So update on this combo of deep conditioners. I've never used it before, but um, my hair feeling like butter. So I definitely will be using it again because look at that hair feeling all types of soft and shiny. We love to see it. Lord, we love to see it. Yeah, so basically if y'all thought that I was hiding like a little secret boyfriend that I just never revealed to y'all, no, it just ain't happening. It just ain't happening. Guys are trying, but they are just not succeeding and I refuse to put someone on my channel that I don't see a future with. I refuse, you won't. If you see him on my channel, that's probably like my friend or something like that. Some people were commenting, I made a TikTok with my best friend. Some people were like, oh, is that your man? No, no, he's not. That's my best friend. I wouldn't just pop up on TikTok with a man, okay? I would have told y'all, even if y'all never got to see his face, I would have told y'all, but no, I ain't got no secret man. Cats out the freaking bag. I hope y'all got some wine for the tea that I was spilling today. Wine for tea? Yes, sir. I'm gonna put my hair up while it deep conditions. I'm gonna deep condition it for probably like 30 minutes. I usually like to put my hair on top of my head because I'm gonna plastic cap it up. Bop, bop. It's a vibe. I'm actually gonna do a face mask, okay? This is one of my favorite face masks. It's the Tony Molly. And I'll try to have it linked down below for you guys. It's a sheet mask. You just put it on your face and let it sit and you don't have to rinse it off. And this is like a lazy person's dream. So I'm finna put this on. Y'all, I'm really messed up because I didn't even tell y'all what my type is. Like what type of guys am I even interested in? So here we go. Go ahead, get your tea, get some snacks or whatever. All right, y'all. So this is the aloe sheet mask it's supposed to be good for moisturizing and if you guys don't know i actually have dry skin so i'm always looking for something to moisturize my hair and as you can see it's a sheet you gotta uh like unravel it right quick my type of guy physical characteristics tall i like tall men like that is so attractive and me i'm five one so it's absolutely hilarious and guys I always think that's hilarious that i like tall men because i got some nerve being five one talking about some if you ain't six feet and up, I can't do nothing for you, you know? So I'm just gonna put this on. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna look like a smooth criminal. Ooh, it's been a while. And these are always so cold. But when I tell you my face be, ah, moisturized. And that's all I'm asking for. So now y'all get to listen to me talk with this face mask on, looking like I'm gonna go rob somebody. Oh gosh. But um, yeah, I like tall guys. I don't really care what skin complexion you are or where you from, really. If you cute, you cute. So, I mean, I do have a, I'm sucking at this so bad, y'all. I do have a preference towards African-American men, though. However, I do have a preference, but it's not a requirement. I was trying to peel off something that wasn't even meant to peel off. I feel dumb. Somehow I feel like I'm gonna end up with somebody black because I'm so, pro-black, but I'm not against other cultures. Physically, um, they just gotta be fine. I don't know what fine look like, you know, but I know it when I see it. <laughs> so that's what physical characteristics. It's not like a, you know, people have a type. My type is tall, but you could be dark skin, brown skin, light skin. I really don't care. If you cute, you cute. I don't care, you know, what color your eyes are or 
none of that extra stuff. If I find you attractive, I find you attractive. You know, I probably shouldn't have decided to do this with a face mask on, but who said I was here to be practical? Okay, so mentally, which is more important than the physical characteristics? However, I want both of them. I really like people who are funny. Like, I feel like the guy I end up with is gonna have to have a crazy good sense of humor because I can be really hard on myself and I need him to alleviate some of that. Like, you know, some comical relief in the room. And I would like us to be just going back and forth, you know, like burden, back and forth, just cracking jokes. That's cute to me. Also, I want him to be smart. That's really important to me. I mean, there's a time to joke and then there's a time to be serious and I need him to be able to play on both of those. So I really would like him to be smart. I would like him to be family oriented because I am. I don't really care so much if he's an introvert or an extrovert, but if history shows us anything, then he's probably gonna end up being extroverted because a lot of the guys that I've talked to are all extroverts. So I guess that's what I'm attracted to, but you know, really I'm in between. I'm like an ambivert, so it depends on what I wanna be for the day, really. I like someone who's very confident. That's another thing. I need them to be confident in who they are and what they bring to the table. And confidence is really, really attractive to me. Like, you know, you are who you say you are. You could back that stuff up. Say less, say less. I can barely breathe with this thing. Let me stop, let me say less, for real. Oh gosh. Now you guys kinda have a general idea of what my type is, but I really want to be smart funny, outgoing. I want him to be caring as well, like care about other people, care about the well-being of other people. Just like a gentle heart, if that makes sense. Not all about himself, not self-absorbed. However, know what they bring to the table, still confident at the same time. You know, I got a couple things on my list, you know what I'm saying? And ambitious, Uh ambitious, likes to travel. Can I just sprinkle that in there like parsley? Those are important. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna let this mask sit because I mean, it keeps sliding, slipping and sliding, and I'll come back and do my outro for y'all. Okay, y'all, I am back. I just rinsed out the deep conditioner and I took off that face mask. My hair is feeling soft. Oh, I left it in for 30 minutes. Curls popping. I always rinse all of my deep conditioner out, so it's all rinsed out and it feels really great. Feels like it's ready to get to styling. With the face mask, like I said, you don't rinse it off. Like the sheet mask, you don't rinse it off. So it's just on my skin, giving me extra moisture and all that jazz. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any topic suggestions for like the next deep conditioning chill, just go ahead and drop that in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed, you know, getting to know a little behind the scenes of Jalen, you know what I'm saying? If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.